Hey y'all, it's Anthony. I just got back from the gym. Just wanted to do some arms. Alright, like I said before, make sure you're putting your health first, y'all. Don't neglect your health. And make sure whatever you're doing, you're happy. Like, if you don't know what your purpose in life is, hey, go help someone else out. You'll eventually figure out what the hell you're on this earth for. Just help more people, get what they want, and you'll get what you want in the process. It's not hard, it's not rocket science. Go help more people, figure out what your purpose is, do what makes you happy, makes you feel good, and gets you out of bed and fires you up. If you're happy with what you're doing, hey, monetize that. Make it a way, turn it into a way to pay you. If you don't like what you're doing, do something else. Figure out what you're meant to do and do it. Whatever makes you happy, it doesn't mean it's right, it doesn't mean it's correct, it doesn't mean it's moral. Do whatever gets you fired up. Like you have an instinct inside you to do what you're meant to do. If you don't know what that is, like I said, go help somebody. Just keep helping people until you figure out what your purpose is. Whatever fires you up, whatever gives you joy, makes you joyful, that's what you're supposed to be doing. That's what God created you to do. You're supposed to be full of joy, and the only way you're going to get joy in your life is going through God. So quit being selfish, quit neglecting helping others, and help other people get what they want, and He'll get what you want in the process. And please, stop neglecting your health. You only got one life, y'all. If you're not protecting, like, alright, <laughs> reverse. Alright, back to insurance. Do you got car insurance? Do you got homeowner's insurance? Do you got renter's insurance? Do you got medical insurance? Hey, guess what? All that stuff can be replaced. Do you got life insurance? You only got one of those. Alright, seriously, if you're married or you have a significant other and you rely on two incomes to survive, what happens if your income stops coming in? Say you make $30,000 a year. Over 10 years, that's $300,000 that you won't be bringing in if something happens to you. You're going to deprive your family and loved ones of $300,000 because you're selfish and you did not properly plan and prepare for the inevitable. Hey, I didn't plan on having my accident at 23. My medical bills were over a million dollars. Luckily, I was in the army and they paid for it. And because of that, I have, maybe you haven't noticed, so I have a trait. I have a slight speech impediment. And my balance is getting better, especially since I started dancing, but I still stumble. Like... I had a traumatic brain injury, y'all. I'll never be 100% back to where I was. But I improve daily, I grow daily, and I learn from it. That's what you gotta do. But like I said, everything in life happens for you and not to you. You need to start adopting that philosophy. If you don't know what the hell you're meant to do on this earth, go help somebody. You'll eventually figure out what you're here for. I promise. Don't neglect your health. Do something to be physically active every single day. And just be great. I right? quit being selfish. Properly plan and prepare for the future. Like I said, I didn't plan on having my accident on 23. I was swimming at a rock court with my buddies on a Saturday. <laughs> Made it 15 months in Iraq. Came back. A couple months later, we're having a good old time on Saturday swimming. Rock gives way. I fall 50 feet. Hey, I didn't plan on that. Luckily, my buddies knew how to open my airway and stop my bleeding, so I lived. But, hey, that's my story, y'all. <laughs> I spent eight years in the Army, 15 months in Iraq, nothing happened. Come back, swimming on a Saturday, fall 50 feet out of rock quarry, land on my head, go into a coma for three months, wake up, have to relearn everything. It's hard, it's difficult, I still struggle, but hey, I got temporary memory loss, like, I don't really have long-term memory, except for stories and stuff that I've been told and sparked memories, but other than that, I don't really remember. I have short term memory issues, but my whole goal in life is just to help as many people as I can. How many are going to do that? By helping you with your physical fitness, because I am an independent personal trainer, or I'm going to help you with your finances and properly planning and preparing for the future for your families, because I don't care who you are. You need to properly plan and prepare. Like me, I'm, I'm having difficulty in life in terms of myself because of my accident. I, I, I did all kinds of loops and hoops I got to jump through. I had to wait eight months to get my medical records from the Army. I finally got those, and now I'm just waiting for some 
other hurdles I gotta jump through with um the life insurance company that I'm going through for mine. So since I can't do that right now, I'm working on that one. Still, I still I'm not gonna be a hypocrite. I use the um, the Trans Alpha through my company, so I save my money tax free in a Roth IRA and a general investing account. So if you're not investing your money and letting your money work and grow for you, what are you doing with your life? You have a limited amount of time on the start to actually earn money. So make your money earn for you. All right, y'all. Well, it's going on almost six minutes now, so it's probably enough for y'all, but hey, have a wonderful day. I'll be in West Palm Beach tomorrow, sitting down with my friend's sister who's a nurse and her husband's a business owner. They got two children. I'm gonna talk to them about the million dollar baby for their kids and hopefully set them up with a life insurance retirement plan so if something happens to them and their income's not coming in, their kids are taken care of. That's what I do. Help other people every day, y'all. Hope. Be great.